Hello and welcome back to another episode of Mac Trains. Today we're asking just how much difference does a power bank make to Hornby's HM7000 system? This Bluetooth DCC system is easy to use, free to download and very customizable. But does it need a power bank? How easy are it to install? And just what difference does it actually make? Stay tuned to find out. Okay, let's get it going. Well, that's at speed step 10. And it stopped. And it's lost it. Start up again. And again. Now I haven't cleaned the wheels in this in quite some time. I'm increasing it now to speed 15. I was about to say it just could open it, but no. And it's lost it again from the controller. It's red. So we need to give it another wee nudge. Should sure, looking back on at that. Yep, back to blue. Now, these are all points. They're insulin frog points. Um, and they're not in the best condition. This was laid long before um, HMBC came out. It was originally done as a DC. <laughs> it was wired for DC originally, so it's by no means optimum. But this is what we have to run our stuff on. And that just gets annoying. And this local runs beautifully under DCC. Uh, under DC, sorry. Um, it can usually get over it's a few, it's an older thing, it's about 15 years old now, so. But that's the sort of idea, that's what we have just now, so. Gonna do a bit of work, gonna try and get the stay alive in, and see what happens next. But oh, she's come back alive. Hopefully, smooth as silk in a moment. Okay, we're back. It's showing up, so I haven't broken anything. Here we go. Let's move it. Speed step 10. See what happens. Well, I'm going to lightly at least. I should also say actually that this is being done um, in uh, creep mode. So really it's sort of a Kundra speed spec 5, I suppose, if it hadn't got that on it. But now that is certainly better so far. So let me down now. Oh, look at that. Bliss. Now, are you going to get to the end? So yes, should you need this? Probably not. Does it have enough perfect track? Definitely not me. It is old track, not the most well laid. I suspect there's a few 
twists and some of the points which is why it loses connectivity on them quite regularly but I'm a happy bunny with that that makes a world of difference if it can crawl like that nothing to argue about there is it let's drop it down even further and change direction it's now on speed step 5 but again this is on creep mode so it's going to probably 1 or 2 ok this is going to be a slow one It is not even hesitating. Let's see when it hits the frog. Beautifully sure footed. Why didn't I do this from the start is what I'm asking myself right now. I'm going to be even more cruel. Let's see if we can bring it right down. What do we bring it down to? It's sitting at 5. So speed step 2 on creep mode. It's moving. There's nothing to argue about there. In about oh, 10 seconds it'll be over the frog. Front axle on the frog. Middle axle on the frog. Real axle on the frog. And that's absolutely nothing. Yeah, beauty. So look at that. Isn't that how you just always imagined your trains and your engines would run when you were two years old? Okay, well, that answers that. I want a power bank in every model I have. Right, thanks for watching. We'll leave it doing its thing. Well, we toot goodbye. And see you in the next one. It's a friendly wee fellow. Thanks, then. Eh? Oh, yes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I nearly forgot. Take it off creep mode. Increase it a bit, speed step 10, and lift off and see how long it lasts for. It's going quite slow, so that's going to certainly give it plenty of reason to keep going. Yeah. Five seconds. Ten seconds. And start to cut out now. No argument with that at all. I get 10 seconds of life. No reason that shouldn't work on beautifully. Thanks for watching. Nope, just kicked back in. So, was it worth it? Well, for me, definitely. It won't be for everyone. If your locals already run beautifully smoothly, don't cut out. Whether you're double O, TT, doesn't matter. Then you don't need a power bank. It will add no functionality whatsoever. But if you have cutouts, if you have older track, if you have poorer track, if you haven't laid it as well as you should have, like myself, or if you have difficult to reach places in a layout that you know are going to give you trouble at some point, tunnels and so on, and you just need something that will keep your locos moving through the bad patches. This works. 
works beautifully. Does exactly what it says in tin and it's not a dreadful expense, I don't think, given what you get out of it. If you're installing on a whole fleet, then it'll soon mount up. So look out for the offers that there are sometimes. Buy multi-packs where you can. There's no functional difference between the DCC Concepts version and Hornby's. There's different shapes, there's different volumes. Hornby have a new one coming out. Hornby's is cheaper, but you can buy DCC Concepts as a multi-pack now, a three-pack. So it just depends what you want. From what I understand, the Hornby one will last slightly longer. And if I had had just using sound, it would last an awful lot longer than using sound and motion than the 10 seconds I got. But 10 seconds of that is more than enough for what I needed for. I'm not unhappy with that at all. So there you are. Uh, thank you again for watching. Like I say, do like and subscribe. Comment if you're interested. And uh, a little bit of a bonus coming up for those of you who have nothing else to do with your time. Thanks. Okay, so here we are back again. We're going to now try to open this up, find somewhere for the power bank to go into, take it back through and see how it runs. So you'll already know if this works, of course, but nonetheless, here's what I'm using. It's from DCC Concepts, AE um, Stealize. They're made particularly to fit the HM7000 decoders. So should say it's a, an 8-pin uh, decoder in this, and it is a Bachmann 08 from about ooh, at least 10 years ago, maybe longer. Yeah. So that's the little fellow. If we can get that to focus. Yeah. Very neat, certainly. Um, different proportions, but overall less volume, certainly, than the current Hormy ones, although they are out of stock. So, Hormy are meant to be producing smaller ones, but they're not out expected till the end of the year. So, these are available just now as a three pack. They were on offer from Rails, and I picked them up. Let's see how this goes. So, first up, let's get the body off the OE. <laughs> 